All right, guys, so let's start off with some brows. We're going to be taking my BH Brow Pro Palette. I really love this one. I do clients um, because it has every shade that I need. And I'm using a Dose of Colors angled brush for the brows. I just love this brush for liner and brows. Anyway, so I'm taking a taupey kind of color. <clears throat> and we're just going to be filling in all the sparse areas. I'm not really going for that full-on intense Instagram brow. Um, she just wanted something nice, fluffy, and a little natural, but she wanted it clean. So that's why I took the powder and um, I just cleaned up the brow with a little bit of concealer at the end. And so right here, I'm just filling in, like I said, all of the sparse areas that she just needs a little bit of filling. So I'm going to be taking my RCMA um, palette. I love this um, foundation palette, but I'm going to be taking a light, lighter shade than her complexion, just like a couple shades lighter, just to really highlight and define the brow on the bottom. She just wanted it to look very clean, and so that's what I'm doing. And then we're going to be going out with a bigger blending brush and just blending out that concealer. And you guys, we're talking because we got to have fun while we talk. So now I'm just going to move on to eyeshadow. So I'm taking the shade Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance Eyeshadow Palette. We're going to be using that one as a transition color. As you guys can see, it really comes off um, as a not a transition color. It's like a really dark brown on her, um, but a pretty brown. But um, because she's so pale, so... That's why we're going to be taking that one. And she just wants like a semi um, kind of smoked out look. So that's what I'm giving her. And then I'm going to be going in with that darker brown in the outer corners just to start that smokage. Really defining the outer corner and bringing the excess of that eyeshadow into the inner corner. I think this one is... Um, the darkest brown shade that there is, but I really did use a little bit because that shade in the palette is really, really dark. So now I'm taking a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm just going to be cutting her crease. We're going to be going in with a um, Stila Magnificent Metal. Um, this one is in Sandstorm. This one was hers, so that's why I'm using on her eyes. Um, but look how gorgeous this shade is, guys. So pigmented, and I really love these Stila ones for clients because it's so easy. Like, it's so easy to use on them. It's so convenient, and it's not messy at all. So then, now we're going to be going ahead and just smoking out a little bit more on the outer corner. You guys can really get this um, smoked out. I just wanted to keep it a little bit more... Um, brown because the more you add of that dark brown color in the modern renaissance it can turn black and I didn't want that so now we're gonna be going on and moving on to lashes and those one are the Morphe um, lashes that they have but I already applied some of that RCMA foundation all over her skin as you guys can see and I'm just going to be taking a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape in light medium underneath her eyes and just really blending it under there and really getting into those crevices and everywhere that I want to conceal. And you guys, I'm using a little bit, like I literally dotted a little bit of that concealer on the back of my hand and it worked pretty fine. I'm, I just love her skin, like look how beautiful her skin looks guys. So then I'm going to be baking a little bit. Um, this is the RCMA No Color Powder with a little bit of Ben Nye um, Banana Powder. Just a little bit of it. And I'm just setting underneath her eyes and a little bit on her nose. And then I like to go in with the brush after I bake. Just because if I bake with a um, brush, sometimes you can see the strokes or the hairs. And it just doesn't look really seamless and like flawless underneath the eyes. So that's why I do like to bake first and then go in with a brush. And I don't like to bake any of my clients for a long time, just like how I do with me. I just love the effect baking does instantly. It makes um, your under eyes look so smooth. And then I go in and really um, try to set all the other areas and sweep away the bakage right away. So now let's move on to bronzer. So I'm bronzing her skin up just a little bit with um, the Anastasia palette in... 
the shade Havana. So I'm taking a little bit of that shade. I just love this Havana shade, guys. And I'm just going to be going around the perimeter of her face. I just love it, and I'm keeping it light-handed. I'm not trying to go full-on Instagram contour and everything else um, because this makeup is what my client wanted. So that's why, and I just love to film my client tutorials. It's just really good, and you guys love them. Now I'm going to be going ahead and setting all of those powders with my Mara Badescu Cucumber um, Spray. And then as I let that um, dry on her face, I'm going to be highlighting the inner corners of her eyes with the shade Starburst from the That Glow palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I just really like when that inner corner really shines through. Getting a little bit on her cupid's bow it looks really nice. And then we're going to be taking that shade from the same palette and just really patting it into the skin. That's what I like to do first. And then I'll go ahead and sweep. It just looks so beautiful, guys. Like, look how gorgeous that highlight is. Just going a little bit on her nose, the cupid's bow a little bit more. And I already got a little bit on the temples of her forehead a little bit. You guys, you guys could just never have too much. So now taking that starburst, which is the lightest one. And applying that to the highest points of the cheeks. <clears throat> you guys can see with no highlight and with highlight. You guys need highlight. Uh, I'm just sorry. We're in 2018 and we need highlight. You know, it's it's not makeup a full beat without highlight now. Days. That's what's in. And it just looks so beautiful. So taking that same shade from the Mono Renaissance, um, taking that transition color, I didn't want to leave it blank. Um, I just thought it looked naked. So I'm just putting a little bit of burnt orange. I'm going ahead and coat her lower lashes and top lashes with some mascara. And then we're going to be going in with a ColourPop liquid lip. All of the details will be on my Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and here on my YouTube channel, I'm going to have a giveaway very, very soon. So make sure you guys are subscribed. But anyway, guys, I just really wanted to tie this look in with a really nice nude. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys like this video. So you guys, please like, comment, and share. And please subscribe if you guys aren't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video.